trends are you seeing today in women's healthcare? I think as you know, as we're becoming more educated as a gender, um, I'm seeing that a lot of women want to take more control over their health and want to be fully informed before they're given any kind of a treatment plan, which I love. So we also see that this, there's a trend to using more natural products. I'm seeing like a resurgence of people asking for a non-hormonal IUD, for instance, or for um, the Kaya diaphragm, which has come back. You know, I haven't heard anyone ask for a diaphragm until the last few years. So I'm seeing that people are actually looking for more natural ways and not suppressing their menstrual cycle. They want to feel their period. I know Ricky Lake has done some work in, in talking about the menstrual cycle and actually knowing why you're feeling what you feel. What is PMS? Why do you feel that way? What does ovulation feel like? Why does it feel painful? Is that wrong or is it natural? Um, you know, why do you get emotional or angry right before your period? And what are these headaches? Why do you have them? So these are all questions that women are coming forward with and realizing, hey, you know what? As long as I know that this is normal, I can handle it. I can deal with it. So maybe I want to do a more natural form of birth control. And then there is the other way. Like, you know, I, I actually hate this feeling of having cramps and I want to take a birth control. So I think women are just, they're more savvy consumers and they just come to the table with more knowledge and they tend to know what they want and I and they want to know what whatever treatment plan I administer what it's actually doing to their body so I think that that's that thirst for knowledge is a really good thing um, and as we all know you know as we kind of struggle through our 20s to figuring out what we want to do for the rest of our lives um, we're seeing a big trend and delay in wanting to have children so, you know, we're not really having kids at 21 anymore. We're not really ready for a husband at 21 anymore. So we're seeing this, you know, caution with dating and caution with finding that right person. And what comes with that is a delay in childbirth. So we're hearing a lot more women asking about fertility preservation. Um, and to that end, you know, what are the things I can be doing now to help my 30 year old self um, optimize my chances for when I'm truly ready to have a baby. Dr. Valentin, thank you so much for your time. We greatly appreciate your insight and your wisdom and you know, you, you have very valuable time and we, we really appreciate you and all your work. It's my absolute pleasure to take care of you, your family, and, and help the women that you want to help going forward. You're doing it. <laughs>